If you got a pack of chicken kebabs and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. Trigger warning. Yes, I do clean them off. I did get these pre-made at the grocery store. I picked them up from Harris Teeter. So they were already um, layered with chicken, um, onions, bell peppers. They use orange and green bell peppers, but no seasoning. So I, you know I had to go ahead and season it. I just used some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of Larry's, and that's it. Yeah, and then I mixed it up and made sure each chicken piece was coated okay because again these are going on the grill and they didn't have any seasoning so look at that that's all you got to do really you can also make these at home so i'm gonna make a, a detailed video on how to make them at home this was the day that i had a cookout so yeah i had layered it and got it all good for the grill um these were also some hamburgers that were already like pre-made and formed i did rinse them off trigger warning so if y'all are mad, it's okay. Um, I just used the basic, some hamburger seasoning, some smoked like hamburger seasoning. And then I went in with a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning to give it that little kick and some Worcestershire sauce. Because these are going on a grill, I wanted to make sure that they were fully like um, seasoned and coated. Because I like my burgers a little charred. So yeah, I wanted to make sure the seasoning on it would stay on it. So that's just how I went ahead and seasoned my burgers. But you could get hamburger meat, you could get turkey meat, whatever you want to do, just make sure that you season it. Because once it goes on a grill, it's like you don't want that charred flavor to overpower your seasoning. So, yeah, just make sure each side is coated really good. Rub it in, add you some Worcestershire sauce, and give it a good go. Sometimes you can actually reform it as well if you want to chop up some bell peppers or like some onions and add it in the mixture as well. But these are just some basic hamburgers that I added like cheese on. You will see later in the video. So, it didn't really cost for that much. But yeah, I love them. I also got this pack from Harris Teeter, y'all, for $10. What? Shout out to Harris Teeter. But this was the end result after I went ahead and seasoned up the chicken kebabs and the hamburgers. And voila. Yep. Um, My mom put <laughs> aluminum foil on a grill, but that's optional as well because we had hot dogs and some other things on a grill. She just didn't want them to fall down. Um, But if you like the charred like grill lines on it don't use aluminum foil and then i just added some cheese and then some beef hot dogs and then voila that was literally it it was super quick and easy i added um some spinach on mine some had lettuce ketchup mustard pickles and voila you can add you a fried egg some avocado whatever you want for the cookout but try this recipe bye y'all